Hey everybody, it's Troy. I wanted to show you how to use the library, why and when, and even how you manage it during an upgrade process. Let's say I've made this video. In fact, I did. I just made this video a few moments ago. And uh, I've got an outro that says, learn more at techsmith.com. And I've got an intro that says, uh, removing black bars. And it's uh, simple, but it's effective. I like it, uh, and I'm probably going to use it again. What I can do with each of these items on here is I can right click and I can add to the library if I want to use it again and again, right? So I'm going to go to add to library and uh, I can choose an existing library if I have one. In fact, I did. I just made one called support and this intro dash Camtasia support I can put uh, into support and if I use the canvas size means uh, it's going to be whatever the project setting is which is 1080p and I'll click add and now it's there for me to use on my next project uh, so I'll just drag it down the next time I start a new project right I can do the same thing over here uh, with uh, I, and I can add to that library now it's also possible uh, that I might have multiple uh, libraries for example I have one uh, that I've used in the past um, which I just sort of throw everything in the kitchen sink in there and uh, and it's possible that uh, I have an outro there that I really like, and I'm going to reuse that again. Uh, I use it for something else, but now I'm going to use it for support. So I can take something from an existing library, and I can either move or I can copy it over to my support library. And now I've got my intro and my outro in that support library. Uh, if I want to, I can also organize those, right? So I might create a folder. Whoops, I can right click and add a folder. And uh, this folder I'm going to be calling um, yeah, In and Outs, right? Uh, so I can take both of those and put those in my In and Outs if I need to organize it, because now I can also create one called Callouts uh, that I like to use, or um, let's say these are special animations that I've designed uh, for this, or maybe I've got a folder for logos, and in fact, let me just give you an idea. Uh, in that big folder that I was showing you a second ago, it was this one right here, right? I've got my lower thirds, I got backgrounds, I got callouts that I use, uh, countdowns, effects, gestures, gradients, uh, etc. Even some recordings that I use again and again. Or sometimes uh, if I'm just using text, like uh, I've got, um, you know, some uh, bold italics that I, I want to use again and again. So I can add those to my library and use them frequently. Now, Now, if I'm upgrading from Camtasia 2019, uh, 2019 has some default assets in its main library, right? These are what come with 2019. It's pretty much the same that comes with 2020. So when you upgrade, those are available in both applications. We don't copy and paste the library. Uh, we don't want to fill up your hard drive. So it's just really kind of, it's referenced. It's there on your hard drive. If you delete it out of 2019, it's still there in 2020. So you're good to go. Now, if you created your own uh, because you've went in and uh, created a new library, like let's say I've created one for Bosch and I've got uh, a bunch of icons here. When and, uh, and slides and intro roads, etc. When I upgrade to 2020, uh, and this is now Camtasia 2020, you can tell because there's a favorites tool over here, um, that library will be there as well. So uh, if I, and as mentioned before, if I really want to, I can organize it by creating folders, etc. I can also export that library uh, so that I can share that library and its structure with others on my team. I can have them import it uh, so that it's available to them. You can go even uh, one step further if you want, and this is probably another video for another day, uh, but uh, you can do something called uh, exporting packages. And a package allows you not only uh, to share a library, 
uh, but uh, the color schemes that you might have, which are in the themes, so themes are fonts and colors and logos, etc. Uh, and then I can also share uh, templates as well, but all of that can be shared inside of packages. I hope this is helpful. Thanks a bunch for using Camtasia and uh, look forward to assisting you again in the future.